I've got a bit to learn about this 40. Welcome back to the 40 channel. First thing I need to do is uh, thank King Tony. They sent me some pretty cool stuff. They must have thought my hair was a bit out of control. They thought me, they sent me a hat. Nice cooler bag to keep my uh, beverages nice and cool. And an expanding riveter gun. Thanks King Tony, appreciate it. So we're gonna look at this frame. Now that it's stripped back, there's a few things we need to repair. Do the little crack repair. This tube needs to be replaced. It's, uh, I don't know what they've done. It's atrocious. They've had an absolute shocker. And the other thing I'm not really happy about is uh, this is where the uh, mud flaps, this is where the mud flaps sat. Um, it just looks ugly. It's terrible. So we're going to cut that off. We'll make up a new bracket and we'll sit it at the back. And then the frame's ready to go and we'll sandblast it and then we can um, rust proof it and uh, we'll give it a bit of a raptor coat as well. All right, let's get into it. Right, so we've got the small crack just coming through here. So what we need to do, which is really important, we need to find the end of each crack. We need to drill a small hole in it. So that way it'll stop the crack from traveling. So that's the first thing we're gonna do before we start grinding it out or doing anything else. So we'll find the end of each crack. We'll just hit it with a pin punch, drill it out with uh, about a four, four and a half mil drill bit. Uh, that'll terminate the crack, stop it traveling or getting any worse. As you can see here, uh, previous owners sort of had a bit of a go at uh, trying to repair the crack. So it's very important you do your prep work on any type of welding. You've got to V it all out, grind it all back, back to bare steel. Then you can fill that uh, V back up and weld it back up. But we'll show you the process. Now you can probably just see the crack running through here. So we're going to grind all that out into a V shape so we can weld prep all that. All right, so we've got a uh, die grinder bit. So this is a carbide burr. This is fantastic because it has this little dome on the top, so it's perfect for just grinding out that crack. Throw it in a die grinder, we'll grind the crack out. <laughs> Now we've really ground that crack right through so it's uh it's come up really good so we'll clean all this area up and i'll uh, make the world really stick down in this position we're going to take a whole lot of measurements to make sure that the frame is exactly how it should be 886 726 okay, from the center of that hole to the center of this hole 1190 891 One, five, four, two, three, six, eight, two. So this frame's two mil longer than the uh, dimensions on the drawing. What am I going to do?
going to uh, mock fit this little bracket up for my mud flaps so we can uh, actually I'll see you on this one yeah, I'm pretty happy with these mud flaps uh, a mate of mine brought them back from uh, the mighty US of A thanks Kasani appreciate that bringing them back on your uh, carry-on luggage to wear a part smuggler anyway so that's basically where it'll sit so we'll pick up three holes here so we'll uh, line that up draw the three holes in this bracket then we'll be able to weld the bracket under the back of this uh, back plate here to uh, house our mud flaps now I jumped on the net looked at stacks and stacks of photos and trying to figure out where exactly a mud flap was supposed to go on an FJ40 and the result I came up with was inconclusive I don't know some have them here, some have them here, some have them back here, some have them hanging off chains, some have brackets inside the tub, some have brackets coming off the frame in here. It seems to be a matter of choice. Um, I don't know where they're supposed to go, I don't know what the go is with them. All I know is that I have to have them to pass Rego, so this is where I'm putting mine. You can put yours wherever you like. Instead of trying to drill through the rubber, you build off using like a, uh, a punch. A hole punch it's going to give you a lot easier and better job perfect line those holes up on that bracket and we'll drill the holes out Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide our new pipe through but before we do that we're going to uh, galvanize the inside of this pipe area here and the reason for that is because once this new pipe's through there's nothing to protect it with the paint so that'll give it a protection now we'll just get a spray so using the cold galvanizing stuff that's uh you can use that as a weld through primer as well So we've jacked the pipe bender up into place. We use this as our guide. Close. One more, just for the little bit that'll back off when we release it. measure everything again and make sure that nothing's moved or nothing's going out of square and brace it all up and then we'll weld this back into place. Nice. Three mil. Clamp that up. Seven forty-six. Perfect. 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 Thank you. 
Yeah, they do. Gives a really good scrub with the wire brush. safety glasses so it doesn't get in my eyes. Look at me. <laughs> to stop any rubbish getting into all these little holes we're just going to uh, screw in a plug just to seal them all up pick them up from your local bolt shop mark what the front of the spring is. Right, because we don't have the correct tool to do the job, we're going to use what we've got. Break this taper, make it pop off. We've just loosened the bolt off a little bit. I'm going to put a hammer either side and give it a good hit. See if that worked. There we go. Lovely. I know some of you are cringing right now because I didn't have the correct tool, but sometimes you've got to work with what you got. So this is all damaged and bent in here, so we need to bend all that back before we can even try to remove the, the U-bolts. Uh, this one's okay, but that's some damaged thread, so we might have to grind that back a little bit to clean up the thread just to get that off. So we'll try and straighten this up, see how we go. It's going to be difficult, I can see it now. Move, dog. Uh, yes, dog, I'm all right. Might have to get a drift and get in there and or chisel and hit it back. We're actually going to put the old suspension back on. The reason why you're going to use the old suspension is because we can't get new suspension or we can't get it properly made until we know the correct weight of the car. So once the car is completely finished and back on the road, then we can get the new suspension made for that. Weigh the car, weigh each corner of the car and make sure we have the right settings for the suspension so the car drives as smooth as I want it to drive. So until then, we're just going to do the old stuff and put it back on until we're finished. Eh? It's a bit of a long haul, but um, we'll reuse what we've got for the moment. The end of the thread's pretty damaged on these U-bolts, so I've just got a thread file. And we're just cleaning up the end of the thread so we can try to get these nuts off. You just start on a good piece of the thread and work your way around slowly to the damaged part. So work on a good piece of thread, then slowly work your way around to the damaged part and then work your way right through the damaged part of the thread. Alright, see how it turned out. Oh, easy. That made all the world a difference. How good was that? Makes a big difference when you've got the right tools. I don't have all of them, but I do have a number of them. Righto, that's it for another 40 channel episode. 
thanks for watching. We've stripped off the uh, chassis, we repaired the chassis. It's at the sand blaster now, getting ready to be uh, cleaned up and painted. Stripped the axles down, so we pulled all the springs, the hangers off it, uh, damaged nuts and bolts, pulled all the brake lines off. So they're ready to be cleaned up and painted as well. So thanks for watching. Jack and I have done a good job. Jack got pretty dirty this time. Didn't ya? Yeah. Good job, mate. Thanks. Start cleaning it off. <laughs> All right, remember to like, subscribe. Thanks for your support.